This is a Sister Wives update for June 2023. Let's check in with Mary, Christine, and Janelle. So first, let's talk about Father's Day shade and how much shade is okay on Father's Day because Cody got roasted bad this year. Christine posted a series of pictures of David with her kids for Father's Day and wished him a happy Father's Day, not Cody. She had said, Happy Father's Day, David. I've watched how loving, compassionate, and present you are with your children, and I love how you've shown that to my children as well. You're truly showing up, which is what is most important. Of course, the elephant in the room is that she completely ignored Cody, the father of her six kids, who she has previously accused of, like, not showing up. So, yikes, here's some of the top comments on that post. Happy Father's Day, Cody is somewhere punching the wall right now. Dang, if that ain't a big ol' middle finger to Cody Brown. And my personal favorite, Cody's last kidney may need CPR. Hopefully his best customer can help. Technically, Robin said he's her best customer, but extra points for that reference anyway, I say. I mean, to the point where I honestly kind of felt bad for him. So before I proceed, don't forget to like this video right now and then I'll move on. Thank you. Okay, so meanwhile, Peyton, Christine's son, who has been absent from social media post actually lately, posted the weirdest post of all time on Father's Day, actually. I'm not even going to show the picture because I'll probably get flagged or the video will get taken down, not going to lie. Let me tell you, it's Payton's co-workers. Let's not forget he's a bouncer at a strip club and they are operating a car wash, so just imagine. So, very weird, not on my bingo card, and someone in the comments said, the irony you're posting this on Father's Day and not posting about your father isn't lost on me. And Peyton actually replied, finally, laughing face. So, I guess that's the irony he was going for, but I don't know if that really landed correctly, you know? I also want to mention that Gwendolyn did post a cute picture of Cody and all that to her Instagram stories, so it was not all bad. Christine had said that she hopes things get less awkward. Well, this is not going to make things less awkward. I may have underestimated how bad things are between Christine and Cody as exes, but I'm sure we'll learn more about this in like season 18. Meanwhile, Maddie, Janelle, and Christine were just in Nashville for a Plexus convention. That's right, I'm pretty sure this is an MLM. Something about gut health, not sure, but they were enjoying their trip. David came along as well, and this was at a time where, you know, some articles were actually saying that Christine was seen wiping her eyes or something and wasn't wearing her ring, but clearly, based on social media activity, it looks like Christine and David are thriving and like taking selfies. Anyways, Christine, apparently, from the pictures, I was not aware she had a tattoo, but it looks like she has a tattoo, and she looked great in a type of dress that she does not normally wear, like low cut, like we're so far away from season one, Christine, it's not even funny. Tattoo, low cut, like, oh my gosh. So now let's talk about Janelle. So. Janelle's family came together to celebrate the high school graduation of Savannah this month. She recently graduated and Cody was actually there, P.S. Anyways, Janelle had almost all her kids in one place, which is rare for her, and she had said, once again, almost all my kids, missing Hunter and his girlfriend Audrey, but I'll take any time with whatever kids I can gather. So. I believe Hunter and his girlfriend are nurses and work in healthcare in Vegas, so totally possible that just it didn't work with their work schedule or whatever, because I'm sure their work schedule is pretty demanding. Apparently, Savannah has actually left Flagstaff to go spend the summer with her sister Maddie in North Carolina, and Maddie even bought a puzzle board because she loves 
puzzle, Savannah does, which is cute. And immediately I thought, maybe this was Savannah's way of avoiding going to the trailer. Janelle loves the trailer, but I wouldn't blame Savannah for having like PTSD from that time they were like off grid and had to fill their own water bottle jugs of water or whatever. So anyways, Janelle also joined Christine and David on this off-roading adventure in Moab, Utah with Savannah, which looked like a really fun time and like Janelle kind of getting out of her comfort zone or something. So, okay, so now let's talk about Mary. So Mary has been making these inspirational TikToks with little like peppy music. It's like kind of a similar style to someone called Mel Robbins, who's like an inspirational person. Mary basically says that judgment on social media comments can affect her mood and she remembers that there will always be someone who doesn't see your worth and this is the type of post mary's been kind of putting out lately just to give you an idea um it says when you're lost or the road of life has taken you down an unknown road just stop stop so you can redirect stop so you can make a new plan. Just pause for a moment to reset your inner GPS and get going on your new path to your amazing d new destination. Hashtag worthy up. So yeah, we should all worthy up for sure. And there is also an interesting story this month that came from Gwendolyn. So on Gwendolyn's YouTube channel, she had said that her teacher back in the day wanted to date Cody or something, which is crazy. She said, there was a serious problem with women just wanting my dad. <laughs> oh my gosh. I had a teacher at one point, I had to switch classes because she was so creepy about it. Garrison had her longer. She was weird, so weird. I could tell you stories about her. She wasted half of an entire class just gossiping with me about how much she loved my family. And I'm like, I'm just trying to learn Spanish, lady. So can you imagine? She had to switch classes back in the day. Wow, okay. And with that, I also have a complete update on what Christine has been up to this month, which is why I did not babble on about her in this one too much. Take a look and watch it. And this completes my Sister Wives update for June 2023. Love you guys. Bye. Okay, now really, bye. I'll be back with more Sister Wives updates.